Now, in the question number 121, the mechanism that causes a gene to move from one linkage group to the another. Uh, moving of genes from one linkage group to the another is that the movement of the genes is there between the non-homologous chromosome. Yes, when it is between the homologous chromosome, you simply call it as a crossing over. But here we are talking about the non-homologous chromosome. So, this is not crossing over. This mechanism, yes, this is translocation. So, the right option for this question is option number 3. Question 122, the equivalent of a structural gene is, the equivalent is cistron. Yes, uh, cistron is usually described as a structural gene which codes for polypeptide. Uh, the minimum part of the cistron which can undergo recombination, you call it as recon and the minimum part of the recon which can undergo mutation that is known as muton. Now, operon, now operon has cluster of genes. It has cluster of genes and this operon concept of regulation of genes, you know that it is only applicable, it is only seen in the prokaryotes. So, this is all about the question number 122. So, now we are going to discuss 123 here. Now, question number 123, a true breeding plant is you know that a true breeding plant is a homozygous plant. Now this plant, it produces offsprings which are of its own kind. Like if a tall pea plant is there, the progeny which is produced after the self wing that would be showing tall traits. Similarly, if it would be a drop pea plant after the selfing, all the plants which would be produced, they show drop trait. So, homozygous plants, they can be homozygous dominant as well as homozygous recessive. So, on the basis of this, now we can see these four options here. Now, option number one, one that is able to breed on its own. This is wrong produced due to cross-pollination among unrelated plants. It is not the cross-pollination. After the self-pollination, it should produce the same trait generations after generation. Option number three, near homozygous and produces offspring of its own kind. This seems to be okay. But we can also see the option number four, always homozygous recessive. This is wrong because it can be recessive as well as dominant. So, it means the right option for this question is option number 3. So, moving on to the question number 124. So, here we have to look for our ribosomal RNA which has structural as well as a catalytic role. So, 23S ribosomal RNA. It is the part of the ribosome. Yes, it is the part of the ribosome. It is the part of the larger subunit that is the 50S subunit present in the 70S ribosome. Now, this 23S ribosomal RNA, it is catalytic in nature. It is involved in the formation of the peptide bond between the amino acids. So, structural role is there because it is the part of the ribosome. Catalytic role is there because it is involved in the synthesis of the peptide bond. So, the right option here is option number 3. So let's move on to the question number 125th. 